This is kind of the chaos that we have right now. Let's talk consoles. Cords, 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 cords. When you buy $17,000 worth of primarily video games, you get a lot of stuff. You're probably gonna be like, this number's insane, but I think, I think there's 300 consoles. I did promise we would go look at the games. There's a lot, and there are good ones. Go back to the beginning of where storage is. We have this bin. This looks primarily like, I said bin, it's a box. Uh, primarily Atari. That's what it looks like. Let's see, are these Neo Geo, okay. Also, I should show this off real quick. This stuff here is all from him. They're all empty cases. Uh, we did get a Halo 3 Legendary Collection. Probably list that this week. The new Halo is coming out soon. Maybe even this week, I can't remember. Down here, this is a bin people are gonna care about. This is a bin that I'm probably gonna have to do more info on in a video. I think this is pretty much all cartridge games. There's a lot of collect collector cases, but like, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, well, I said I wasn't seeing anything and then Bloodlines. I don't know, is that one good? I don't know Genesis, I'm sorry. I do know that Castlevania is good. Afterburner I don't think is. Amazon 14 to 20 used, kind of a random, because he doesn't sell on Amazon, so it's kind of random to have that on there. Landstalker, some of these cases, some of these manuals for stuff like that, be sure to check our eBay, because that's where a lot of that's gonna go. This is, looks like manuals and kind of miscellaneous stuff. Let's see if this is a good manual. Uh, Tony Hawk, I don't think it's, Probably not worth much, but it's at least cool. And then I will tell you guys, I did not bring the bin down here. They brought this down when I was not here. And my guys don't know games quite like I do. They're getting there. Uh, they just, they don't process them. So it's harder to learn them. And I saw the top and I freaked out because, and I, and I just picked this up actually. So this is Final Fantasy map and then, one of the holy grails of Chrono Trigger. Um, it is light. I don't think there's even a manual in there, but there is one right beside it. So I assume he was planning on pairing that together. This is probably a bin that I will go through because just based on what I'm seeing, this is probably good. And then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There is another Chrono Trigger box in here. Look at this. Two. How often do you see two Chrono Trigger boxes? That can easily go to eBay. Based on what I'm seeing, Final Fantasy. Is this PC as well? Uh, I would assume so. There's two of them. Uh, those will probably go to eBay as well. Some more Final Fantasy stuff. A pocket in the bottom. I don't think that's the official back. Oh, no, that's not a pocket. That's a light. Oh, that's cool. Don't see that often. Oh, uh, this is a receiver for a power glove. And there's a power glove. Okay, this, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this bin is a good bin. It's one that's gonna be worth going through. We're gonna take this power glove and I wanna show you this. Also super cool to see uh, memory card selling the blister. But, so we got this power glove. And over here, um, that is my power glove. So we got two here. And then this is part of the purchase that is absolutely crazy. We have one, two, three power gloves in this purchase so far. Also, these are pretty cool. Uh, the light phasers for Sega. And then I think there's some manuals for the power gloves in here. And then there's some, um, the sensors for that in here as well. I think those are worth like 130, 140, 150 a piece. I would assume this is probably games. Let's see, this looks like, ooh, shovelware. Uh, it's Xbox 360, but it, it's not very good stuff. We got some Sega stuff, Earthworm, Sega Saturn, stuff that we'll deep dive on, more Sega there. More game stuff. Um, this might be games, I'm not 100% sure. This is 500 packs of Pokemon cards, so 
yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, let's see, down here, a lot of games in there. Let's see, we got games in here. I don't think there was much crazy in here. This was in there, fun fact. Rhythm Heaven used to be like $7 game. Now it's like 40. So that one's cool. Um, this is the only one of the few bins that I actually have looked at. This was just like, these are just like random games that we found in court bins and stuff like that. Both of these boxes, I don't know what's in them. Uh, so they could be consoles, could be games. Who knows? I didn't put that up there. Uh, this is random cords, cords. So it looks like all of that right there is random cords. Oh, I realized I never talked about the Lego. There was a bunch of Lego, I haven't processed it. It's worth a lot. That's all I can really say. This is what I've been, primarily games. I didn't know there were Switch games, but you can see there is a Game Boy Color. Can't tell if that's CIB. That's probably CIB um, Silver or Platinum uh, SP. Some Lego there. This looks like kind of disc only games. This is miscellaneous, but I mean, there's GameCube, Catherine. I think Catherine's decent. Jack and Daxter collection. That's a good one. Most wanted. We have this corner here, which should be. Oh, is this PAX? Oh my gosh. Didn't know those existed. But this should be games. Oh my gosh. Paper Mario. Yeah. Literally just grab the top one. Let's see if we can go for two for two. Dragon Ball Z Sagas, ah, GameCube at least. These all give me GameCube? Nope, but Super Smash. Looks like these are more disc only games. We did just process a bunch of disc only, so that kind of stinks. This is a bin of cords, but you can see like good controllers. That's a good one. There's several of these. Oh, that one's third party, but that one's not. Ooh, ooh, that's rough. Let's see, this is games, and I assume they're in there. Yep, so those are in there. That's a bin of games. We got a bin of games here. Uh, Pikmin 2 right on top. I promise I did not plan any of these. Rumble Arena, that's a good one. I don't think I even have that. Uh, got a bin of games there. Box of games, box of games. Bin of games. This is a Super Nintendo CIB with games underneath it games not seem much good in there games 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 control deck em uh, empty lego games underneath we got this bin of games um i think yeah there's some gamecube in here street true crime dead to right is that good uh, I'm not seeing anything crazy, but anytime you see GameCube, that's exciting. So, two bins of games. Slide it out. Let's see. Um, Looney Tunes. That's kind of uncommon. Family Game Night. We buy that game. Oh, this is a random one. Uh, that was supposed to be eBay. We'll put that over there. These look dirty, but they're games. Uh, we got this bin of games. And it's got like a lot of Atari, I think, in the bottom. That's a good one. If you ever see the deluxe edition of this, I'd probably keep it. We have this bin that I have no idea what it is. We have this that I have no idea what that is. Don't know what that is. I think that's kind of about it. Oh, we have all of these Lego sets. Ignore the games in the background. Those are shovelware stuff that we should have a ton of. So we got a... Deluxe set, it's in terrible condition. But we have this beautiful control deck box. It is in very good condition. And I think it has the foam, very good condition. That'll probably be on eBay. I did not see the original game box that I went through. Maybe that's up here, I don't know. It had some really good games, but that'll probably be in the video where I actually go through the games. I think we're at like 50 minutes recording. It's a lot of games. We have listed the eBay stuff we have listed it's been worth about $10,000 that's before fees before shipping and we do free shipping on everything roughly 300 consoles probably 15 to 20 Lego sets that are all big uh, also I'm keeping keeping that bad boy that one's staying that was part of the purchase that I decided to keep I've sold 
about $1,400 worth of stuff locally, but six of them were Pokemon packs, four of them, five of them. I kept like four, four or five packs. We got some vintage booster packs, not those, those. <laughs> I sold 1,400 roughly locally. This was a crazy purchase. Shout out to Levi. If you have this much stuff and you want to sell it to me, I am a thousand percent interested. So please send me a message on Instagram. You can contact me through the website. Um, but this has been a crazy couple weeks and I'm ready to do it again. So if you have more stuff, DM me. That's it. I'm out, Gangsters.